When we make music, you know, we try not to be too much up here. You know, we're just, you think more about your gut. Do I feel this? Do I not feel this? The fact that we work together makes it a unique, uh, like, recipe. You know, it's like everyone has their ingredients. And then when you mix it together, that's what makes it special. Hello! Hello! Hello, Blog Rebele! Blog Rebele! Blog Rebele! <laughs> this is Yukimi. This is Eric. From Little, Little Dragon. Dragon. Welcome to Block Event with a special English edition today. We're gonna talk to Little Dragon today. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Two of them? Yes. Because would be too much people here and <laughs> would be too, too loud, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Eric, yes. the drummer, mm -hmm. and Yukimi, the singer. singer. Mm -hmm. Do you, you play a, a, also an instrument? Yeah, I play a little percussion. Percussion, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we're going to talk about your upcoming album. So I have to think about me about it. It's same. No. New me, same us. New me, same us. It's so many things in that I want to talk about. Because actually new things happened. Mm -hmm. You're signed at Ninja Tune. And then there are things about how you produced your album. And yeah, and I want to also talk about your vision, where the next steps are about. Let's talk about the signing thing with Ninja Tune. How did it come or how that, did it happen? Um, <clears throat> well, we were out of our deal with um, Because. And um, yeah, I guess just talking to labels and also contemplating maybe releasing something ourselves or, you know, we were sort of in this open space. And um, <clears throat> I mean, we like the people, you know, when you work with a label, you're working with a group of people. And so you knew them before? The yeah, we met them. Ninja too? Yeah, yeah, we met them a few times before yeah. we, we signed to them and, and we liked them and we liked their kind of, uh, you know, philosophy. They give us a lot of freedom and, uh, um, Yeah, I think uh, they got a, signed a lot of acts that are, you know, that we could resonate with. So, so it's a it's a match. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you feel? Where does it go? What did you talk about? What What are the visions of the working together with them? And well, what are the next steps? Um, then? I mean, I think basically, like the most important thing is that people are passionate about, you know, about getting your music out there. Mm. So um, and and you know they they have that they have that interest you know so that's what you want from a label uh, people who are ready to fight for you. And was this um, you know and an push for doing something new or something different in your music in your new album? Did you work about the, knowing new start new label? So there are new opportunities. So mm. did you, was it in spirit of something starting or going back? I read it was going back to your roots, mm -hmm. how you produced your album. Is it right? Yeah, in a way it was almost like going back to the roots before uh, we started making albums. Because we met sort of in high school, just making songs and not even recording them. How, how long is that ago? When you say... Oh, when I we mean, met, it was in the mid-90s, late-90s, where we met. Yeah, we, weren't, of, we weren't making albums. No, we, we weren't were making friends. albums. We were... <laughs> Just jamming together. <laughs> basically, you know, because that hadn't really come to us that you could record music. It was so back in the history where before computers and before everybody no not before computers <laughs> starting of internet for everyone exactly yeah. Time, yeah yeah so i think somehow now when we with ninja and sort of it felt open so we uh, and also parallel to that the four of us sort of uh, evolving and uh, being in a 
place in life where it's like time to open up and be honest how you feel about because we we started this band and we were young and we were kind of just the band turned into its own little thing and we were just following along not where are we going i don't know you know and we kept on traveling and you get exhausted so we somehow said okay let's try to maneuver this machine ourselves rather than it just going its own way and uh, i think by the four of us talking about how we felt about things you know honesty opens up a lot of good stuff so we <laughs> we started uh, started making music in the in a more childish way or like less less anxious about oh, it has to sound like little dragon or it has to be a hit or it has to be this it has to be that it has to be fun that's what we we have to feel inspired and all of us has to feel inspired so i can hear it in yeah. your album. really it's <laughs> yeah, really thank you great great work yeah, yeah. you do you, you, you want to say something about that uh no no i agree with eric <laughs> but uh, I guess, um, yeah, I was going to just say that it's almost like even if you don't try to change anything, everything changes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like uh, what we, the music that we wrote um, for our last release, release 2017, I guess, mm -hmm. or something, um, was everything that was happening then, you know, it was, and then now. Going with the flow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Pretty much. And it is when I listen to your music from yeah from the beginning till the end, I feel a flow actually. And there was something like you told um, that you don't you weren't much pushed by the ego of each of you. It was mm. like doing it for a greater thing. What yeah. was this? Or what is this greater thing? The egos were there. For sure, yeah, but, yeah. You know, but okay. they have to, you know. But at least we're aware of them. <laughs> so we're aware of them, and the greatest, th greater thing was the album, or is it a bigger vision of more I than? Know. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, we fully appreciated each other for, and you know, being proud of. I mean, it was moments where we can sit and cry and just be happy that, hey, we have each other after after all this time. Because, yeah, like I said before, you, you, you start a band and you don't really know what's coming at you. And then 20 years later, you are still friends and you... you how do you make... How do you do that? That you still are friends, that you appreciate each other. What is the key about that? I don't know, you have to In this be, business. <laughs> Business-wise, we, we share everything. We split equal. I think that could have been... Uh, if somebody got all the money, the others would have left, you know. Because we, we all invested our time uh, equally, so, so to speak. When, when it comes to traveling and touring. Because and, that's how we survived. Uh, in the beginning anyway so so we made sure we split the money that's a good good start i think for for like an equality that was the i think the basic of everything is the money yeah not even the money money it's about how do, how many do i get for the time i invested yeah, at least. So yeah. the classic i mean the sort of industry standard is uh, like uh, Music, what is it? Music. Lyrics half. Lyrics half and music half, right? So, so you would so be you the have... most of it would. I mean, I hardly be... know how to read, so I'm just kidding. But <laughs> no, I would have been but... broken. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I'm, the no. drummer gets paid nothing, nothing because it's not even considered music somehow. The rhythm. I mean, it right? Is, yeah, but, but you produce music. So yeah, it's different. But everybody produces music. But yeah, it would have been. It would. It would have been uneven, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of bands break because of that simple thing. Mm. Yeah. So of one one person getting richer and richer, yeah. and the others like, so, hold on, we're and all. And the ego maybe <laughs> goes bigger and bigger. So yeah, right. I don't. Yeah. yeah. And most important thing, I, when I see or read the biographies of the most 
um, older bands, then this is part of it. Then mm. No one can talk to the front man. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm right. always right and yeah. this stuff. So going back to your music, mm. it's, I was like, I just want to describe it somehow. And I was feeling the, the groove of the 70s somehow. Mm. It was like this, you know, these mm. drums and, mm. um, but somehow clubby. I used, as I used to know from the uh, uh, 2000s. Mm. So it's a mix of everything. And I don't want to really compare you, but this is what I know from, um, I think, Moloko and disco and there is so much that I know already mm -hmm. and I was like oh my god this is so good <laughs> <laughs> this is so fits so good like a warm you know a warm thing putting on uh, over you but you all uh, at the same time it's like um, I want to dance to it yeah even there are sad songs uh, there is sadness that this one song I was mm. when I listened to it the first time I thought you, you sing something about summertime mm. well, <laughs> <laughs> so there are these two things in your music and lyrics you want to say something about how you produce that and how the feeling were and what you want to say to the world mm. but Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, what can <laughs> it's you... always fun to hear people's yeah. uh, sort of what they hear because yeah. it's it's always going to be something different than, from us, you yeah. know, which which is uh, exciting and fun. But it's a beautiful thing when music becomes uh, soothing. So yes, when it, it is, when it yeah. when it gives you a space of like feeling secure and and warm and good. And, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Good feelings. Yeah, yeah. Even it's sad. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I and I guess sadness can be that way, you know, like there are, sadness can feel very sad, but still feel soothing. I yeah. think that we forget that it, it has that effect, that it's, it's actually a portal to something else, yeah. you know, mm. to accept what, whatever's going on. Wow. This wisdom in everything you do, <laughs> how do you do oh, but that? It's like you, <laughs> but it's like when you, when you laugh after crying, yeah. sometimes I find myself, I mean, it's not that I've been crying too much lately, but I do remember sometimes <laughs> when you cry and you're like really emptied with tears, it's like eh, the, the big smile comes and you start laughing to nothing, <laughs> it's for nothing, which is uh, great. In that I'm way, trying it's to a think poor, if I've done that, but I haven't. No, I think <laughs> I've. Uh, but that, I can but it's see like you a child doing memory, that. Sort of, you know, when you're being stubborn. Yes, and I you're can. You're crying, have... crying. It's and very then you, near to each other. Exactly. Yeah. Then you can't do it, and when you just start laughing, so. <laughs> yeah. it's like a portal to. It's a cleansing, and it's a it's a med state of meditation almost to cry sometimes, because it's like the only way to express what you feel, because uh, tears are. Uh, you know, healthy, healthy. Yeah. yeah, cleaning, cleaning, yeah, inner yeah. cleaning. Get it out, and let drink it go. Water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is another song. Yeah, Get, this is all about yeah transformation. I don't know. I always used to um, interpret, uh, do an interpretation of the things of the artists give mm. give us. So you know this transformation you have with your uh, label stuff and letting go and starting something new but being the same and mm. yeah, this yeah. is for me it's a it's a it's a mm. picture of its own mm. so i go inside of that and start to listen to it because this is the story i get so mm. but there are also your personal stories in it i think so who wrote the for lyrics me, i just had to say for okay. me it one it's always fun to see your voice evolving also because it's like just gets better and better and better and better. It gets deeper, richer and uh, nobody. I mean, of course, because we've known each other for so long. <laughs> Did you, you know? say it to her before? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Recording this album, there's been times where I've been like, thank you Kimi, for, for letting me listen to this, uh, you know, recording vocals. I mean, getting goosebumps. Wow, yeah, yeah, these bombs, yeah, really. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, rich, rich But voice. she never says, oh my god, you're drunk. Oh no, so I do, I do. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> nice beat. Yeah, nice give beat, me the, man. Give me that beat. 
<laughs> I need that flow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I see you laughing which is either so mm. um after all it sounds like little dragon after years and years and you say you don't want to do that hit thing you don't want to um, running after things can you say how you find your special voice and your special thing and how you keep it is there is this mm. something you work on it because you know it's, uh, there, there are a lot of musicians out there who are searching for question. this special thing you know everyone mm. has to be that special thing you have to have this special thing mm -hmm. how you find it and how you keep it mm. um <clears throat> I think I was. I think it's a good question. Uh, I think when 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 we make music, you know, we try not to be too much up here. You know, we just you think more about your gut. Do I feel this? Do I not feel this? Um, and that's kind of that kind of leads the way. And then I guess we don't really we we haven't really we've been lucky enough to not really um, the fact that we work together makes it a unique like recipe you mm. know it's like everyone has their ingredients and then when you mix it together that's what makes it special you know if it's only one person you know and it might be only one flavor but the mix is what what makes it um i guess eclectic or whatever but but so i think that for us we don't really focus too much on what what makes um us us but uh I, we do think about how to how to transform, you know, and that's, I think creatively it's easy to you, you think that you want to change. You don't want to get stuck. That's a big fear for me. Like I don't mm. want to be stuck, stuck in the and uh, and feel like I'm not evolving, you know. And and that's that that can be kind of scary if you think, oh my gosh, what if I'm one of those artists who just you know make the same album again and you make the same album? That's a very scary thought. Mm. So. Um, I think that uh, sometimes I do I do put some energy on in my head, but um, uh, I think that that uh, the joy of making music, kind of when you when you don't think too much and worry too much about you know am I doing something special or am I being new, and you just think about having fun, something happens you know because mm -hmm. anyway like we talked about change you change anyway, you know. You, everyone gets older anyway, so you're gonna change, and your life is gonna change whether you like it or not. And with that, you have new stories to to sing about, or write about, or make music about, and new feelings and new um, changes to to sort of apply in your sort of flow of of creations. But but um, I think that one of those things that that you forget is just to sort of you know. Uh, turn things off you know you get you get more people involved you have a label you have you know, expectations from mm -hmm. yourself and from other people and like uh, in the beginning we didn't have a label we didn't even know if we were going to make a record the first record was made without any deal without any manager without any you know like so it was just just people purely making music for no other reason than the joy of making music. But how did you go out with that? So this is one thing, yeah, music, I agree completely. But when I meet young musicians and they tell me um, I do it for the music and, I'm, and I wanted to, that people understand my music. So mm -hmm. if I don't know them, how do I get to these people? Because there is this thing doing music and there's right. the com communication mm. transporting right you mean the business the side the business of it. Yeah. side but somehow there is a message you have to transport in you know visual arts or mm. or mm. talking with the press like right now right mm. this stuff is part i think really a part of it mm. how people get in touch with their music so mm. how did you do that at the beginning mm. Because I think when you started, the internet wasn't about, you know... Well, we had MySpace yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and also, I... Was uh, it easier that time? Sorry, but was it easier with MySpace to get in touch with your audience than no, I don't know it if it was easier. Harder. Yeah, I don't know if it was easier, but it was the first time that you could, like, um, uh, see um, international responses. I mean, otherwise, you only see what's... 
you could play your local. We played in like our local club in, in town and have yeah. our friends there, yeah. da da da. But all of a sudden, you're like, hold on, Dorothy from Los Angeles. Mm. Whoa, somebody from Los Angeles. Wow, another person from Los Angeles. Another person. Okay, people in Los Angeles are actually listening to our music. Mm. And you could start seeing comments, you see where people were from. Oh, Brazil. Oh, you know, and all of a sudden you see that there's, you know, maybe maybe there's a reason for us to go there and <laughs> do a show. Or, I mean, you know. our our journey really started this tiny, and then after three years it was this big. And we, I mean, I can't say that we're this big now, but it's been and now very. It's <laughs> and now it's this big. <laughs> but no, when but was the point you we would say? It, I, then the big thing came, the big deals. That's the big so question yeah. because we never, we never really. We never felt that. We big. never. No, no it's but I think very, some artists feel it. You know, yeah. if you have a hit, but you feel it overnight, like bam. I mean, of course, we did like a gorillas a collaboration. Yes, here but, you go. But you don't. You. I think we've been too much in our own joy of making music that we haven't really noticed the small changes. Because it doesn't happen like boom, it was and then so everybody's steady. calling Eric and seeing me on the street, mm -hmm. leaving my kids to kindergarten. Oh, Eric, hello, I love you. It's not like that hasn't happened. So, <laughs> so it's very much the same. But going on the yeah, yeah being an artist and going like cooperations with others, mm. you know, big, really big yeah. um, artists. So there must be something that they get. You know, in touch with you. Was it yeah. music? Was it the no, song actually, on radio? I, I played it? with a band earlier, and I, I yeah, I got in touch with uh, our manager that we've had through the years. I'd say that without him, uh, mm. it wouldn't be the same. No, yeah, because he was based in London, and he had uh, you know um, all the contacts there, having Overseas, been in the business and, yeah. longer mm, than yeah. us. So of course, you know, it's not. Only you no, can't no. be in a cave making music and expect People the world to hear it. No, no, no. This is the expectation lots of young musicians have. Mm -hmm. But then I guess about, maybe so. nowadays, you know, because you have social media, you have those cases. Yeah. You know, yeah. a few, but a few cases. But you have to have the talent of running a social media. You have to sort of be your own. Uh, manager. Manager, yeah. yeah. Which is. Both. And your music has to be good. So. Yeah. I mean, or, it's it's or, both very. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> and, but it's like you you. Uh, it's both fascinating and super positive the way it is now, and of course also a bit. Uh, how do you if you don't have the ability to put on your cell phone and be hundred uh, percent confident about showing the fragile side of you, because that's what. I think that's what people relate to. If you like an artist, you it's the sense of that they are real humans, not that they are... Uh, but that's funny because that's what I liked Business more. robots, you know. Bef not the business robot part, but... <laughs> no. but, but I, <laughs> this is the Japanese like blood in me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but I like the mystery. Yeah. You know, when I was buying records in a record store, yeah. and you were like, Prince, I wonder... Yeah, he, you know, and you have this enigma, like this I'm magical so person, yeah. Yeah. and then you see them talking. You're like, yeah. no, no, I didn't feel that way. Don't I'm just saying, like, my world. don't, no, no, yeah, don't I mean, talk about aliens. Just I mean, be I mean, magical. I mean, <laughs> musically, also that mystery that you're talking about is isn't that the? Because I also love Prince. For me, it's the sense of, wow, this is a fragile, very right. soulful person. Because you some some music where it's over. Uh, you know, when it's just too, everything is perfect. The mystery is gone. The fragility is gone. The mm. sense of, oh, this is a normal person who goes to the toilet just like me. Yeah. It disappears. You yeah. know, this is like a superhuman. Uh, yeah. And that's, that for me, it turns me off. It's no mystery at, at all. Mm. Like, I don't. I it becomes mean, kind of flat, plastic. Yeah. Maybe this is the change which goes from the. You know, the earlier stars like Madonna mm. and Prince and this stuff Michael Jackson never yeah. be the same again. Mm. I think mm. this time. So maybe, okay, a little dragon. I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I don't follow you on Instagram. I, I'm not that much on Instagram. Are you on Instagram? Yeah, we are sure. actually, yeah. 
So what do you what do, you do can I go to the bathroom with you or what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do, what can I expect? <laughs> Tell you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Because yeah. like I'm not, yeah, I know you. I, you see some artists and you're like, wow, they're so good at, you know, exactly. talking to the camera and engaging people, and they have and YouTube creative. channels and yeah. Like I'm not that person. That's not my person. You know, I want to be in the studio writing music, yeah. but I'm not this. Ha ha. You know, like so. Mm. There's so much. Um, you know, there's so much more expected of you mm. these days, I guess. But but then I guess you have to remember that you don't have to. Um, you know, there's space for everyone. You know, there's space for the introvert and there's space for the extrovert, and mm. you don't have to um, follow a model. I guess. So mm. you're chilled with this? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I try. You know, we have to do these videos sometimes. And sometimes it's easy. And honestly, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, retake, you take like 20 takes of, hi, everybody. And you just don't feel. Okay. <laughs> but, but sometimes, yeah. you know, you get into it and, and you feel like you're just being yourself. But, but it's, it's an art form, you know, mm. to be in front of the camera and be... be uh, uh, comfortable yeah yeah so but you're you're kind of uh, band sitting in between of this all this I'm sometimes I'm not sure is it a musician or influencer it's like you know being being a lifestyle person selling music Mm -hmm. Being <laughs> or a musician it, or, or are you a musician so yeah. a lot of youtubers started making YouTube videos and now they see that they can also do music videos and started doing mu mm. music. Oh, wow. But mm -hmm. they don't really sell tickets for concerts. Mm. So, you know, there are there are yeah, differences yeah. between being having followers and selling tickets. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. do you feel that or is it? Yeah, this we've or? learned that actually. Yeah. yeah, because it's like that's one of the things I just feel like we just want to make music and play music. And luckily, we, we do have people who want to come to our shows, you know, but um, I guess we're, we're learning this whole game of mm -hmm. like, because as anybody who's in the business, things just change so fast. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh my gosh, they have millions of followers, but nobody goes to their shows. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't even, how does that work? Mm -hmm. so. And so, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean... We don't have millions of followers, but we have fans. You, you have know, fans who are coming to um, your show, so it's just different, I guess. Mm. You know, and everything takes part in in this crazy world of. We had many years of driving around uh, Europe and America in a van, really driving ourselves, yeah. playing for 150 people, selling T-shirts after the show, CDs, like months. Months and months and months. You have to do that. If yeah, you I mean, be at least if you want to be some sort of yeah, if you want to yeah. So I mean, but I understand that people are like, no, why do I have to do that? I can keep. Uh, I mean, you don't have to. Yeah. But it's. Uh, I think that's something that we enjoyed, and maybe it's becoming like an old-fashioned thing to mm -hmm. be in a band. I don't know. Play drums and bass, I and I think many. You think really? No, but I think many people. The music talent is just as big as it has always been, but maybe because we are so individual with our phones and the techniques, we but are. But isn't that the reason that people want to go out and have an experience, a real experience, yeah, so enjoying a concert, playing yeah, instruments, yeah. feeling the instruments? Yeah, of course, and the I heat think people, people as but. I'm, I'm musicians, I'm sure many are very good now at being their own producers and they make their own beats and they are yep. uh, to, to step like to be in a band. If you're four, you have to, okay, I'm only doing a fourth of this. It's not only me, you know, and that's maybe that's becoming an old fashioned thing to play in a band, band. in that way. I don't know. But, but now there are collaborations. Uh, yeah. Talking about the YouTube guys, there mm. are also collaborations working together 
and putting their followers together. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, I heard about that. So yeah. <laughs> playing together a music video or going on tour because they yeah, know yeah. I got I got some followers, you got this followers yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. let's put them together. So yeah. like you play drums and she sings. Kind of you never it's true. social yeah. media is coming from social, being social yeah. anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's I true. don't I don't think it's good. but coming back to your music. Mm. I just wanna know what is your vision? You go out with this album and you talk about touring North America and this stuff. What is the next big thing you want to do? The next big thing? Um, well, one thing we've been talking about is, you know, for the last <clears throat> six albums, I guess the sixth, the sixth album, um, we've sort of been very in our bubble, just us, you know. And not too many collab, well, not hardly any collaborations. We've had some features from friends and stuff. On um, our album. On our, yeah. on our own uh, releases. But, uh, you know, just to sort of stay open-minded. And speaking of collaborations, you know, maybe we'd make an album where we just went crazy and thought about everyone we wanted to work with, musician-wise, artist-wise, and just invited them into our little space. So that's one thing we've been talking about. Um, to maybe do one day. Sounds scary. Sounds scary, yeah. I'm, I believe in when you speak something loud in the universe, then it becomes true. So mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the time you can speak it, it out. It sounds scary! No, I'm, scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I think we have to stop right here. Yeah. Thank you. With good Thank thing, you. With a yeah. good thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank vibe. you. Finish on a good, a good vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Sending it out and yeah. thank you for thank your you time. So much. Thank, thank you for you. having us. I'm looking forward to see you live in concert because it's a really ex spectacular thing to see you in these dresses. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it should be um, everyone's talking about. We have to see you live. And yeah. I think you're gonna be in Sigit this year also on the Sigit Festival in yeah. Budapest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read the first announcements and you were mm -hmm. part of it, and I was yeah, like, yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe you will see us there, or yeah. we will watch you from okay, down yeah. there. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Cool. and cool. good luck for everything thank and you. for the next big thing. Thank you. And thank you that you talked to Block Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Yes. <laughs>